Hi, I'm Alan LaFleur with Mobile Fire and Razor, and I'm here with Yellowpeed. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good today, thanks. So, today's the last day. Um, you guys came in fifth, sixth. Um, how do you feel about the way you, you guys performed? Um, well, our first day was definitely better than the last ones, but overall, I think our, our performance was pretty much as expected sort of like we had we had strong games we had weak games and well, overall i mean it's not the best placement we've achieved but it was a lot of teams a lot of strong teams here so um yeah i'm i'm okay with it <laughs> okay um i think you i think you guys played one of the most epic games of all time against uh, world elite um can you walk us through what was going on during that game like all the it seemed like action was happening everywhere well, the the thing with that game was that we lost a lot of uh, towers and a lot of inhibitors, so we were always open to getting backdoored by Rengar, uh, like the entire game or the entire late game. So we always had to like balance out between pushing, seeking team fights, actually killing people, getting objectives, but also defending our base at the, at the same time. It was a very, very hectic game, and um, yeah, it was, it was fun to play, but it was also very stressing. Now, what champions have you been playing mostly this weekend? Uh, I started off, the first day I played Ezreal exclusively, and then against WE I played uh, Kogma twice. And against TPA, what did I actually play? I think Ezreal twice. No, I didn't play Vayne. Yeah, might have been Ezreal twice and then another Kog'Maw game or something. Well, uh, it's we it's my most favorite champions and my like most uh, comfortable champions too. Now, with Ezreal, after the nerf, do you you feel like he's still one of the main strong champions since you're still playing them pretty much exclusively? Uh, definitely, yeah. I I mean the W nerf on this attack speed debuff is. Uh, was it, it is a big nerf, like it was a strong asset to his kit, but it only really affects his dueling power kind of on lane against other AD carries, which is weakened due to that. But he still has very high mobility, very high utility, and like team fight potential. And he's just generally very versatile and safe. So, in cases where you want to pick up an AD carry early on, he's often a very good choice. Okay, um, so we're about to see the finals, I think they're about to start. Um, who is your pick to win? I think World Elite is going to take it. Any reason why? Well, first of all, they're a game up, so they go into the match out you know, with an advantage. But I also feel they've shown... Um, they've made less mistakes over the course of the tournament. They've just been showing very stable and very strong play. So, And while Fnatic is a good team, I believe they are more shaky than than World Elite overall in their performance. Like they're not as consistent. So I feel like that World Elite should be able to take this. Okay. Um well do you have any last words, any shout outs? Uh well shout outs to all our sponsors to Razor, <laughs> to OnTV, uh to XMG and to Elo Buff, and also to all our fans.